Here's uh, the Peterbilt Ultra Loft. Uh, what is it? 579, 579 Peterbilt Ultra Loft. Review part two. After being in it for quite some time now, I've decided she's a keeper and I really like it. So um, I'm down in Florida at the moment, well, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, just uh, just outside of Fort Lauderdale and uh, I've been to Walmart which usually happens on a Sunday I'm loading tomorrow all my picks again and uh, been to Walmart got all my stuff together I'm gonna put all that away filled all its fluids up and everything like that so we're all good to go and um, let's have a little look around and what do what do we think like she being new she is beautiful you know she's uh, absolutely amazing really i'm liking it i've got all my chains on you saw that before and all that stuff and uh whatever it's a bit miffed with this the fifth wheel doesn't come as far forward as uh it hangs a lot further backwards than my other other uh, truck so there's a big old gap here which i could never understand on the american trucks they go for all this expense to do the through the air tunnel and everything like that to get the best mileage possible and then they have this huge gap in between the trailer the trailer sits about there which, uh, you know, I'd have thought that that's going to um, cause a lot of drag and stuff like that. And I can't move it any forward. I can sling it right back and be like one of the low boys and have it uh, one of the cool kids on the block and have my trailer right the way back, but then I'll be overweight uh, and different things like that. Nice tyres, Bridgestones. Um, not exactly for winter, but we'll see, uh, see how they perform. You need a uh, side cut out, really. But the interior, oh man, I am loving it. I really am. I've got used to it. I've got used to the air seat and stuff like that. Even though it doesn't go up and down as good as the other one, it's, uh, it really is quite nice. You know, it's, uh, look at it. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it, really? What can I say? And I'm loving this colour. So let's have a little jump inside and uh, I'll show you. I'll just open that because it is toasty out here. Um, I'm still working out whether to get an APU fitted. I've spoke to the rep and uh, I think it's about 14 or 15,000 to get an APU fitted. So that'll add an extra $210 on the lease, which I don't really want to go that high. So it will idle, all these new trucks, I think I mentioned it before, they will idle if it's above 82. You can set the settings there to come down. I think to the, the least is like 70 Fahrenheit and then it will idle otherwise it'll just shut itself off but uh, we've got a tv mount uh, so she obviously she's going to be a keeper now and stuff like that i've got me uh different gps set up better there i like it a lot better there we've got the 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 knobs uh in there i've got my carpet in but uh that's how the freight line it sort of fits ish but until i sell that one i won't be buying another one so I'm hoping to find somebody en route who uh, wants to buy it. These are a bit of a pain, like I mentioned before. The um, It's a bit of a cheap cop-out. But the hanger is a lot higher up than uh, in the Freightliner. So I'm not the tallest of guys, as you all know. And they don't hang down that far. My suitcase fits underneath nicely. So, you know, that's all right. I'm getting used to this tack thing. I'm going to put the TV mount on there and uh that's obviously the tv it'll be there and stuff the bed oh man i am loving this bed i really am it is something else there's uh there's no no doubt in it it's um it's one of the best beds i've ever had i think well it is the best bed i've ever had at home away or whatever it is narrower as you come through this part it really is uh quite a bit narrower in the freight line but i've got to remember this is the part i'm not dancing is, is it i'm not i'm in and out to get into the truck to sit down to drive the thing driving position's amazing really is uh it is getting a bit like we'll keep on the same subject right so we've got this bit back here which at first i didn't really it wasn't my cup of tea because you know you're going on the old truck for five years nearly i was in that and um it's a lot uh, less storage, but there isn't. There's just as much. There's ample. The bed is uh, a lot deeper down there, so I can fit a lot more stuff in. If I do get an APU fitted, you know how that works. It will take a lot more of the room up down there and stuff like that. So I've just got some buckets. I still haven't got a, uh, a bucket on the back to put my stuff in yet. So that all needs sorting and uh, stuff like that. That's the um, uh, uh, heater and air conditioning for the back of the truck. I think some people got it wrong when I said there was no AC. There's your night eater, bunk eater down there. Uh, it has got APU, but obviously only when the truck's running. So I'm just working out whether it is gonna be feasible. On this truck, see how long I idle, 
things like that. Like I usually get a hotel anyway. Nine times out of ten, I'll get a hotel when I'm down here for my time off. So I am actually sat in the truck. It would be nice, but uh, to five thousand bucks, two hundred and ten dollars on top of the price is a lot of money to pay. You know, you've got to take into consideration whether it is going to uh, be feasible or not. So we'll soon find out by I get off this trip because it is an excellent dashboard it tells me idle time it tells me all the lot how much fuel I've used you know you can't go 100% on them but it can give you a rough idea so that's what we're going to do yeah like all this bit now loving the uh the way it works I didn't like it at first obviously because it's changed none of us like change and stuff like that but now I'm like yes this really works for me it's lovely to get up in the morning have my coffee machine sits there plenty of plug sockets all over the place lots of plug sockets and stuff like that I've uh, I put some drawers in there just to keep all my stuff like in one place basically so that's uh that works you know what I mean these are lovely I love that that's a nice little nice little touch cabinet and of course all the rest the uh, upstairs bunk is uh, the same size as a single bed so that's an ample size it's the biggest bed that they do uh, on the market apparently uh, the, I like the, um, the for an upstairs for a top bunk double man bunk double woman whatever you want to call it uh, lots of air vents and stuff like that really really nice I'm liking that it's uh, like I say it is the bottom of the range but the finish is nice I don't mind it the pretend leather uh, you know, it's, it, it works all right. It really does. Like I say, this bed is just absolutely amazing. It really is. You just sink into it. Uh, it got a bit of getting used to because I'm used to a hard bed, like I said before. But check them out. Um, Truckmattresses.com. Have a look at those if you want a mattress. They'll make you made to measure. They'll do any size you want. They're doing a lot of RVs at the moment. And uh, the, the you know, like the T5s in England have taken off with where well, they've been going for years. Everybody lowers them, lowers them and builds them themselves into a camper. That is over here now in America. So anybody's after uh, a bed, want to get a bed sorted or anything, they will make you want to measure. You can have it as a love art. You can have it as a diamond you could have it whatever you wanted they will make it for you so that's the update i'm liking it i i've got a little bit of a problem with not a problem but with the engine is getting a get better getting used to um whereas before in the freightliner i'd hit a hit a hill and i'd pull out to overtake something and i know i'd be going past it nine times out of ten if you've got following them for a bit you can work out if they're heavy or not and you just about uh, always be overtaking them with this because it's uh, it's set up to maximum fuel economy, it's um, it's not that good on the hills. It really isn't that good. But I got to remember, 50% of my loads are not fully loaded. Are uh, are, are uh, em empty, not empty, but lighter loads, not fully loaded. It's only coming down with frozen or apples or things like that down to Florida. The rest of the time going home, I'm half the weight. You know, I'll probably be only grossing out a set at 30 ton. Um, with flowers and stuff like that and all my other flower loads are all super light so you know and it is the fuel economy i've got got it to eight to the gallon coming down here no 7.6 sorry 7.6 coming down here and i flat to the mat i've ran it hard all the way i haven't dropped it down on the gears i've let it do its own thing kind of thing going up the hills and what have you and stuff like that but it is You've just got to remember, it is what it is. It's 50 brake horsepower less. So if you're coming up to a hill, don't embarrass yourself. Don't make yourself twat yourself by pulling out and then going backwards, you know, as the, the other truck starts going forward. Just stay behind, you know. I've still managed a 700 plus days all the way down here. 3,500 miles, Friday lunchtime, uh, Monday lunchtime I left. I was here Friday night. So, but it, it you know, it, it, get out and I'm absolutely super relaxed. It is quieter, it's a comfy road run it really is so uh, it's big ticks now um from me definitely uh, definitely but would have been nice you know with a bigger engine but then you probably lose the fuel economy it does this weird thing as well it drops from um when you uh which is really annoying the freight liner you could set that you could go into the menu on this you can't to uh change how far below your cruise control you want it to go. So you say have it set at 70 mile an hour on the cruise control. Now, at the moment, it drops to uh, it drops to like 67 before it comes back on again. So if it gets a little roll down a hill, coming up the other side, before the fuel starts coming in again, it'll drop to like 67. So 
you've got to watch it. You slam your foot on the throttle and you've got to drive it. You know, it'll it'll do it. It'll overcome it, and you'll just it'll just kick back in straight away at seventy. Otherwise, you are losing a bit of uh, too much power to dip down. But the people in the know who do all the testing, obviously, that's the best way to get the maximum fuel economy out of it. Uh, and uh, I know there's lots of testing. Peter Packard uh, do lots and lots of testing because it's not far from our house, actually. And I see a lot of the guys in the local truck stop, guys and girls, test driving them and asking them questions, what they're doing, and, they get, uh, and they've got all sorts of wind shit going on. So they're out and about all the time doing uh, new tests. And we've even got a test track there, which I'm going to try and blag a day, see if I can get in there and uh, have a look around. So that's me. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm away and packed away and then go down to the farm and wait for the morning. Morning.